Hello and welcome to this AvioDev official video in which we will review the radios and new cockpit implementation. First of all, let's take a look at the cockpit view. As you can see, we are using a new structure. We have reworked the whole frame of the airplane. Okay, let's first of all get rid of the pilot. The walls, the lateral walls are much higher now, according to the real structure of the airplane. Same happens in the rear cockpit. If we go back to the forward view, you can see that the pilot view is much higher now than it was before, and this is according to the real airplane. Like for example, you can see here the pitot tube, and the panel is flashed with the push lights, push buttons. We have also reworked the mirror. The view is according now to the real airplane, as you could check in a, any real video. And now let's have a look at the radios. Okay, well first of all, we can talk to the mechanic and get the GPU connected. Let's go ahead and do that. Ground power. Copy. Okay, right now we don't have any problem to talk to the mechanic because the ground power is down up is open. And there we have the GPU. Right? So we can go ahead and get some vertical power. Okay, let's have a look to the rear cockpit. And now we are going to turn turn the VHF radio on. As you can see it's showing 11.00. This means that the forward cockpit radio is off. So if we go back to the front cockpit and we switch on the VHF box we'll see in the rear cockpit that the frequency is the same as in the front cockpit. Ok, let's have now a look at the priority between front and uh, rear cockpit. For example, if we uh, right now we have the priority button pushed in the front cockpit. You can check it here. So, if we make any changes in the frequency in this box, 
it will be automatically reflected in the VR cockpit, as you can see. Right now, the pilot in the rear cockpit can't make any changes in the co in the radio because the front cockpit is in charge of it. So if we now change the priority to the rear cockpit, we'll be able to make any changes here, and they will be reflected in the front cockpit. Okay, let's take the priority back to the front cockpit. And now we are going to check the intercom. Therefore, we go to the rear cockpit again. And as you can see in the mode selector, we have three modes. We are going to set the interphone and we'll try to contact the mechanic to disconnect the GPU since the canopy is closed we need to do it through the intercom ok let's go ahead do it first let's check that everything is ok intercom is on we can check the intercom buttons this is on we can check the volume The circuit breaker is for the hot mic is uh, pushed down and the volume is okay. So it should work. Chief, turn off the ground power. Copy. Okay, there we are. Ground power is now off. Good. Now we'll see that there's another way to contact with the mechanic, which is through the call button. It's like an emergency call button. And uh, we can use it anytime if we have the mode selector in any other mode so it shouldn't be possible to use the intercom but we can do it just by pressing the call button as you can see we have to keep it pressed so that the menu appears in the screen so let's go ahead and call the mechanic again to connect the GPO Chief, turn on the ground power Copy. Ground power is now on. All right. Now, as you can see, the rear cockpit is not finished, so we don't have the indication jet GPU. This is work in progress. We hope that we will have it finished soon. So we go to the front and connect the GPU to the electrical line now we are going to use the VHF radio for that we will set the frequency for Westland which is the airport where we are now as you can see we have our women there Okay, so let's see if I recall the frequency. One for one. We adjust the volume. Of course, we need to set the Mode selector in VHF and check that the VHF button is out, which you can see here, and the volume. 
park day. Yeah. Set. Beslan, in field. One, one. Request startup. So now we are going to just check the UHF. For that we just need to switch on the UHF, of course. There we are. We adjust the volume to the maximum, for example. And we can call, for example, the AWACS that we have overflying this area. And uh, for that, we we'll need to set the frequency, which is 251 in this mission, in this case. So we use the manual mode, we set the frequency 251, and let's try to make a call to the it works. To go back to the menu. We call for some reform. Bogey dope. Overlord, in field. One, one. Request bogey dope. And of course, it doesn't work because we didn't set correctly. the uh, mode selector in the intercom panel. So now we are set and uh, we have the button correctly boost out and the volume is correct. So let's try again. Try the preset mode. For that, uh, we'll need to switch this dial to the preset position, and we can see the channel that we have selected in this display. We can change it from 1 to 20. Go back to 1. Which is the frequent the channel that we set in the mission editor, which its corresponding frequency, and this channel is set to communicate with the wingman, with our wingman. So let's try to contact him. We are HF. We are in preset mode, channel one. Try it. Uh, we can try, for example, this one, F9, which is pump. Flight, pump. Let's see. Roger. Okay, it's answering. Go to Two, rolling. And he's starting to roll to do something. Okay. And now we are going to record our frequency in one of the UHF channels. Okay, let's go ahead. For that we open Discover. And we are going to record this frequency, 251, which is the AWACS frequency into channel 2. So we set channel 2, 
we press this preset button and it should be done so now if we just move this selector to another position any frequency we'll be able to check that the AWAX is answering us in channel 2 because the mode is in preset alright Overlord in field 1-1 one, one. Alpha check to home plate Field one one Overlord home plate at bulls zero five eight four one hundred forty. And that's it. Now we can also test the T tone, which is an internal check, and also to check the guard frequency with another uh, pilot on another airplane. And uh, now let's have a look at the circuit breakers which are already implemented of course for example if we pull the UHF circuit breaker we will see that the UHF goes blank it's inoperative right now so we can reconnect it and we can do the same with the UHF off the display and now we saw we can check the same in the rear cockpit now it's on so if we switch off the circuit breakers we we'll see that in the rear cockpit they are both both off And that's it. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you the next time. Thank you for watching.